speaking of government overreach and the machinations of the globalist elite cabal and their their desire to surveil us and it's part of their agenda for depopulation and control here's an article that came from reclaim the net ken macon over there uh, reporting apple reveals governments use app notifications to surveil users now i almost laughed when i saw this because it's like well duh of course i mean who doesn't know this but i often have to remind myself that there's a lot of people a lot of americans out there maybe some of you who just don't realize how how intrusive our own government is how intrusive other governments are and that's the important part here it's not just our government i mean apple google facebook they're all using, they're, they're all taking cues from even other governments, and they are sharing our data, period, period. I mean, there's, that's, it's, a, it's done. It's a foregone conclusion. Well, we've known that for a while, but now we get at least some, for those of you, maybe, you're, maybe you or your, your friends are normies and you, you don't want to believe it, you want to stick your head in the sand and say, oh, no, government would never do that. You know, the CCP would never do that. The Washington, D.C. would never do that. No, they do. According the article, again, this is from uh, uh, reclaimthenet.org, Ken Macon reporting in, in a chilling revelation that feels all too familiar, Apple has confirmed that governments are using push notifications for the surveillance of users in an imposition on personal freedoms and a glaring example of state overreach. This unsettling news was disclosed in response to Senator Ron Wyden's urgent communication to the Department of Justice. Wyden highlighted that foreign officials have been pressuring technology companies for data to track smartphones via apps that send notifications. These apps, he noted, put te tech companies in a pivotal role to assist in government monitoring of app usage, of app usage. Oh, no, 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 we just wanna know which apps you're using. It's totally not about surveilling you or your activities or your people or your family or who you're connected to or what you're doing. Totally not about that. Back to the article. Senator Wyden urged the Department of Justice to alter or revoke any existing policies that restrict public disclosure on the surveillance of push notifications. And in reaction to this, Apple's, Apple stated to Reuters that Wyden's letter presented them with an opportunity, opportunity to divulge more information about government monitoring of push notifications. The tech giant clarified, quote, in this case, the federal government prohibited us from sharing any information. Now that this method has become public, we are updating our transparency reporting to detail these kinds of requests. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I laugh, but it's definitely not funny. But just listen to what they're saying. <laughs> I'm going to go slower so you catch it all. In this case, the federal government prohibited us from sharing any information. It's like, okay, so that's good, right? Except it's not. It's not that they're, they were prohibited from sharing the information with the government. They were prohibited from sharing the information with us. That's what they're saying here, folks. Now, back to what their, their statement was. Now that this method has become public, we are updating our transparency reporting to detail these kinds of requests. In other words, we got busted working for governments, sharing your data, sharing your information, uh, using push notifications. So again, this is it's not like you're sitting there having to click on stuff. They're pushing it out to you and using that to track you. You can't make this stuff up. But now that they've been caught... Now they're using this as an opportunity, an opportunity to update their transparency reporting. It's so funny. You know, sometimes I don't know who's worse, our government, corporate media, or corporations themselves who's worse at gaslighting and, and trying to take something that's very, very, very negative and pretending like it's positive, okay? I mean, that's how they, they name bills. They literally name bills after the exact opposite of what they're actually tr trying to do. They claim they're trying to accomplish something, for example, for schools, Okay. It's like, what was it? Uh, I forgot the exact name of the bill, but it's something like like uh, the, the Bill Protecting uh, Public and, and School Safety Act or something like that. And what was this act? This it was out here in California a few years ago. Uh, they, they named it something about, it was, again, it was Public Safety and School Safety Act. And what it ended up being was the, the uh, revoking of of the laws basically making it to where any any theft under $950 wasn't even really an, an, an arrestable crime. I mean, how does that protect schools? How does that protect students? How does that protect the general public? How does that make our streets safer? Obviously, it did not. It did the exact opposite. But if you go, if you're just a voter, you're, you're not really paying attention. You're like, oh, well, I want to protect schools. Let's vote yes. And it passed. It passed. We're idiots. We're all idiots. 
Back to the article, the letter from Wyden reportedly stemmed from a tip about this surveillance activity. An informed source confirmed that both foreign and U.S. agencies have been requesting metadata related to notifications from Apple and Google. This metadata has been allegedly used to link anonymous messaging app users to specific accounts on these platforms. Wow. I mean, just wow. You know, the one thing that the government, if there's one thing that all governments, okay, all governments, uh, l- let's clarify, all corrupt governments, which today means all governments, but but all governments, they all agree on one thing in particular. They all agree that we, the people, and not just us, but in, in any nation, that we do not deserve to, we, we should not have the ability to communicate without them being aware of it. We should not have that. There should not be anonymous messaging apps. And if there are anonymous messaging apps, then they try to take advantage of those. In other words, they they say, oh, hey, you know, this messaging app, totally secure, totally anonymous. You know, you know no way that it can be tracked except that it can. And by, by getting access, governments getting access to to this data. Now you got a whole bunch of people that think they're secure, speaking their mind, maybe maybe speaking out against the government. Maybe they're doing and maybe they are doing bad things. And that's what that's always the the predicate by the way. There's oh, you know, we got to stop child porn. So the only way we can do that is to take these anonymous messaging apps and monitor them. Make it to where they're not anonymous and connect everybody together whoever's using them. You know, and they're always bad people. If they if 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 they're not breaking the law, why would they want to hide? I mean, it's the just it's idiocy. It's absolute idiocy. But hey, <laughs> Welcome to 2023 going into 2024. That is, represents every government in the world today. Look, folks, things are getting really insane out there. You see it. You see the challenges with the money, the challenges with energy, challenges with food. The food supply is is not only diminishing, it's also changing. They don't want us to eat beef, especially they don't want us to eat all American pasture raised beef. Well, we at uh, wholecowstld.com, we believe that you can have your beef and eat it too. You can sustain and keep it long term by going there using promo code TLD15 and get long term storage beef. This is these are bags with with 12 servings of ribeye, New York strip, tenderloin, sirloin, the good stuff all sous vide and then freeze dried put into a mylar bag with oxygen absorbers so that they can maintain a shelf life of up to 25 years without refrigeration of course so go to wholecowstld.com and get you some beef a lot of it as much of it as you possibly can use promo code tld15 for 15 percent off at wholecowstld.com <laughs> 